and welcome back to another episode of Gibberish. Yes. Hello. This is Adam. I am Adam. I am Blake. That is Blake. I am wearing my Virginity Rock shirt. Adam, what do you have on? I have the most gift I think I have ever received. Or the most gift you have ever received? The most amazing <laughs> gift I think I have ever received. And by that I mean, like, in current memory. In current memory. I actually have one myself. Yes, Blake but I left gave it at... this to me. <laughs> he is wearing my jersey. No, I accidentally left mine at home because I was stupid. And all I remember is like, oh yeah, we gotta record today. And then I, the moment I pull up into the house, I'm just like, oh crap, I forgot the jersey. Forgot the jersey. <laughs> so I mean, I'm supposed to be just a med, just let's just Photoshop, just sit like this. And we'll just Photoshop this on top of this. Yeah, perfect. It'll work. And then you it's... can use tracking to track around my arm motions and stuff. Yeah, it's like green screen almost. What if I turned you into like a dinosaur? Holy fucking <laughs> shit! It's a dinosaur. <laughs> but no, this obviously. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> but I thought it was one of the coolest things they sold on their website. Just giving Jepson some free advertisement here. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to be giving them more free advertisement here. Yes. Because guess what? We are from Illinois, and yes. we love oh, Malort. As crazy as that sounds, we love Malort for the wrongful right reason. Which I think everybody that loves Malort <laughs> is kind of in that same boat. Punishment. <laughs> we love the pain. We call it the funeral starter. <laughs> But we are not doing Malort today, folks. We have a very special bottle. Jepson's Bourbon. And surprisingly, it contains no Malort. So, we might have something from Jepson's that could possibly be delicious. This is actually kind of crazy because there was... So there was a day we were... I was at Benny's. And... I was just kind of perusing the aisles. Uh, we, I was actually there buying something that we are planning to do for a future episode that we're just kind of holding out for. And in the process of finding said item, I looked in the bourbon section and I saw this. And I immediately sent him a picture and said, Jepson's does bourbon. <laughs> and I was like... Oh, God, no. <laughs> because I was so worried it was like a Malort bourbon or something like that. But no, it's just bourbon. Yes. But you know what I just realized? What? This is 100 proof. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I did not realize this is 100 proof. It says right there on the bottle. So I thought it would like, be like an 80, like an 80 proof. You so know? it's kind of like the uh, Evan Williams, the bottled in bond. Yeah. But I was like, I was not expecting it to be that strong of an alcohol, We're, technically. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go small tasters here. We'll small tasters here at first, and then, of course, we have to do the usual thing. Shots. past couple of episodes have been very disappointing with the shooting part. Honestly, yes. The, the past couple episodes have been not exactly the best. So we are very excited to be doing this just because of the name behind it and Jepsons. what the item is. Yes. It's proof that Jepsons can come out with good alcohol. Yes, they can. On purpose. And we believed in them. <laughs> and we do believe in them. And honestly, we do love Jepsons, my lord. But it is for the, for the reason that everyone else likes it. Giving it to someone who's never had it. And Adam likes to expl likes to say it tastes like a mouthful of dead ladybugs. The malort that is. I say it tastes like a mouthful of dandelions that have been thrown up onto your bed by your dog. But, from what I'm smelling on this, it smells pretty good. <laughs> it smells like Jim Beam. Oh, it does. It, it's just bourbon. So it's yeah. got a very pleasant, oaky, wood sort of sweet smell to it. Yeah. You know. So. Because I know you're a big bourbon guy. Yeah. Jepson's bourbon is a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. Uh, Aged at a minimum of four years. It's interesting that they don't have like the actual set date. Just a minimum of four years. So it could be more, could be less, I guess. Right. Interesting. And the thing is, uh, Jepson's actually came out with different versions of this bourbon. They came out with one is like aged in a sherry cask. They have one that's I bet aged. That one's pretty casual. Yeah. I mean, I thought about it. I was gonna get it, 
but the thing is, like the ones that are aged in specific casks, there's different price range for it. Mm. The most expensive one I saw was like fifty bucks, yeah. which technically is not bad. But it, I'm I'm not that invested into the bourbon I, yet we need to, to you know buy a fifty dollar bottle of it. At the same time, I feel like we also need to give them the due diligence of. I, I'm assuming this is where they started from the like the basics. Yeah, this and is like okay, this let's is make a bourbon. Base here we go. So I feel like we kind of need to start here, right? And then we can decide what we think of this and go in a different direction. Exactly. I still think they have a really neat label on the bottle. It is because it's, it's very it's very unique. Like yeah. granted, I mean, if you look at the Di Sirono that we did in the last episode, it's just a gold label with you know like a crown or something on it. Yeah. I don't remember exactly, but this does smell amazing, and I think it's time we get to the fun part. I agree. Let me do yours. Here's a little drinky poo there for you, Ran. There you go. Thank you, sir. Are you, are you gonna pour oh, mine? Do you want me to pour yes, yours? please. Okay. I poured yours like a gentleman. No, just make sure we keep them even. That's pretty good. All right, so we have it poured here. Looks just like a regular bourbon. It looks a lot like Jim Beam. Yeah. I mean, I know we go through like what it looks like in colors and stuff, but you know there are slight differences in different types right. of you know, whiskeys and how they process everything. So we try but, to base it off of something that everybody can kind of be familiar with mm -hmm. and have it make sense. It smells really good, though. It, it actually doesn't smell too bad. No, it smells I have a feeling it's going to be pretty harsh. But, I mean, we will see. You kind of expect that in a bourbon. Yeah, most bourbons is like you just sip on it. You don't really... I, I, I don't suggest doing shots of bourbon, but, I mean, you can. Yeah. I I, for, I think sipping on it, you get a lot more flavor off of it. Yeah. And it tastes better. So. Clean case. Let's try it. A lot of burn. A lot of burn. Has good it's, flavor. I was going to say, the flavor is not bad. It's almost... I don't really know how to explain it. The, the initial taste... There was almost like a level of heat yes. to it. Like, it was almost... I, I can't quite pinpoint it. Like, not like a cinnamon type of heat, either. Like... I'm just trying to figure out what you mean. I'm, I gotta try it again. But it's very sweet. You get a lot of pretty. You get pretty good flavor off of this. But it seems like it kind of just tastes like a, a Jim Beam of sorts. With a little more flavor. See, I, I feel like it's it's there's something about it that's distinctly different than Jim Beam, and I can't quite pinpoint it. Figure it out. Figure it out. Like, it's, I don't want to say it's spicy. Like, I don't, like, sounds stupid, I know. But, like, that initial taste, it's, like, almost like, like, almost like a hot sauce kind of heat. Do you see what I'm saying at all? Not really, no. I, I, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying, but... But that well, I are you trying to like talk about the burn that comes up with the heat and how it kind of like tingles all over no. your tongue? Because I can understand that with hot sauce. No, that's right. Not. I'm a wimp and I just eat top. Uh, I just use Tapatio or Frank's Red Hot. But honestly, it's good. It is good. It's good. It's just there's something distinctly different about the way it's. It's not even necessarily 100 percent the flavor. It's the way that it hits your tongue. It hits your tongue the way it spreads. Yes. It's like... It, it is. It's almost like a heat, and I don't know if it's just all attributed to the burn. Right. Or if there's some flavor that I'm picking up on it, and I just can't quite pinpoint it. But... I, I, I just can't figure it out. I like it. Mm hmm It's just different. It's like... It's like bourbon, but different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I like it. Like, the the heat... Like, I, I do the thing where you swish it around. Yeah. Like, the heat distributes the right... Like, a right a good amount. You get a lot of good flavor off of it. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's definitely, you can taste like a smoky bourbon yeah. type of deal going there. Not so much smoky, but you do taste like, you know how it's aged in barrels and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, you're getting a lot of that barrel wood-ish kind of there. Yeah. But it's almost, but it's, it, that's there and it's sweet almost. It's almost like it would, they did it in like, like they somehow like put it in a cedar barrel or something like that and like added stuff to to it. I don't know, but like it's a very distinct wood-ish flavor and it's very sweet and it's very good. And I, yeah. I really do like it. And the burn is nice too, which is weird because it's not like it's overwhelming in the back of the throat or on the tongue. See, the nice thing is I like how the heat kind of disperses itself. I was going to say, that's, that's, I think that's kind of what's puzzling me is like you can obviously tell that it's a lot of burn but it's like not in an unpleasant way exactly it's it's just it, it's it's it hard, feels right it's hard to explain like it's not even necessarily just because of the fact that we like whiskey and <laughs> we're, we're kind of used to it expecting a burn but mm-hmm. it's like you know it's there it is very prevalent you you feel the burn and how harsh it kind of is but it's not in any way unappealing. No. I mean, this uh, this as a mixer would be great, and this as just like on the rocks would say, be fine. I would say pouring this on the rocks would be perfect. Yeah. I, I would easily drink that. I would 100%. no problem either. Not a problem. I mean, it's great. Well, let's, uh, the old tried and true chest here. Here it is. Skull. Here's to you, Jepson. Yes. Thank you so much. To you. Thank you for your products. We love you here at Gibberish. Cheers. Shout out, Jepson's Malort. Ooh. Ooh. Hits the back of the throat hard. Hits the back of the throat. Oh. Okay. It's rising up over the throat into the back of the mouth. Yep. I do not recommend shooting. Nope, don't shoot it. This is definitely something you want to sip on. I I feel like that's kind of... It's kind of a given, given the fact that it's a hundred proof. Yeah, it is. That, that's we need to remind. It's a hundred proof, so it is it's stronger. Gonna, it's going to be stronger. It's got a lot more burn to it, and being able to like pour it on the rocks and just sip on it. Yeah, that like, that would be perfect if you wanted to drink this straight. I would suggest putting it over ice and just sipping. Yeah, or I think this would also be a great mixer for like bourbon, Coke. Yeah, you know, you know whatever. But all in all, I mean, it's starting to go away. There's still burn in the like. It, it doesn't. It doesn't it, linger. No, it, it stays down, and then it comes back. It it goes down, then the heat comes up to about. For me, it's like right about the halfway point in my mouth, where it's like in the middle of the palate, and yeah. then it starts to recede back. Yeah, and it comes up, and then it goes away. It's it's like it's just like. <laughs> It's like it's thanking you for drinking it, you know? It, you shoot it, it goes down, and it's like, I didn't say thank you! And then it's like, it starts climbing back up your tongue, and then just kisses the roof of your mouth and says, thank you. And then slowly fades away like a ghost. <laughs> but all in all, Adam, what do you give Jepson's bourbon rating? You know, I am going to be at about... I'm going to go three and a quarter. Um, not... Doesn't knock my socks off. Am I actually a little surprised? I am. Yes. Um, when I see the name Jepsons on anything, I my mind is not. It does not. When you think of Jepsons, you think of Malort. It, it's bourbon or anything mm-hmm. other than Malort, and I think that's it. One, in fact, like in part because of how well they've tackled their marketing and... their marketing for just malort yes. is insane yes and it's so fantastic on how they do that it's just crazy they have built so much popularity and everything just based off of one product so it's just it's hard to see that and think that they can do something different and they and did. you know what they did they, they did and they did a great job of doing it i would say they succeeded in my mind like so... i don't know if if they like distilled them this that sell themselves or if they I, had you know because i know some companies will say hey we came out or some people will say hey we came out with our own bourbon or our own whiskey or whatever when in actuality it's like you know it could be jack daniels in a different bottle right you know it's not saying that that's what this so is the fact that this is a blend of straight 
bourbon whiskeys, like it's a blend, makes me feel like maybe they've taken some other things from other companies and kind of put it together and made their own thing. Right. Um, I don't know that for sure. But either way... It still tastes great. It is. It's it's honestly a, a good mm. bottle of bourbon. Yep. I mean, I would I would buy it just to have on hand. So. I, I bought it. Yeah. He, he <laughs> it. Um, I'm going to give this a uh, three and a half. Three and a half. I, I think it's a really solid bourbon. This is pretty interchangeable with Jim Beam. I mean, I, which is... Jim Beam is like my go-to bourbon. This, I feel like... I could have Jim Beam or this. I, say, I do my Jim Beam just as like it's usually what I do with like old fashions and everything because I feel right. like it's just a solid. And honestly, I I'm impressed. Could be okay I th- in that. And... I like I really do like this. I they it really did, you know, exceed my expectations, mm-hmm. mainly because of the fact of Malort. You know, it, it it doesn't taste super great. And when I saw this, I when he sent me that photo, I thought. Oh my God! They made a bourbon with Malort, but no, Malort. This is its own yes, thing. this is completely separate from Malort, other than the fact it is Jepson's. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think three and a half makes a on the rocks would be great. Um, and mix would be fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's a good all round bourbon. I feel like for and this was like twenty five bucks. Right. For this bottle, and I think. For what you're paying for, I mean, you're getting a little more burn with the higher proof, but it has good flavor. The heat is nice when you're sipping on it. I don't recommend shooting it if you just, I mean, you, disclaimer, you guys can do whatever the it hell you your want. It is prerogative. You can do whatever you We're want. We're just giving you advice on what you should and shouldn't do with certain drinks. This one, I do not suggest shooting it. There is a lot of burn, but it's tolerable. But you lose a lot of the flavor when you shoot it. Yeah. This sipped on by itself or on ice is fantastic. I think would be fantastic. Definitely. So that's my final rating. I would like to give a personal shout out to Jepsons. Um, again? Yes. Once again. <laughs> because they need to see this. <laughs> yes. So we, uh... we, we have had many a time in this basement uh, um, just having so much fun with Malort. We've had friends. I've w- he's had friends and family. I've had friends and family. We've all had him try Malort, and it's usually the same response. <laughs> and I love it. And we love it. I love every minute of it. <laughs> That's why we got these jerseys, <laughs> and we'll be wearing those on our Proudly. Decora trip. On the Decora trip, exactly. So with that, don't forget to check out all of our socials: Instagram, TikTok, and obviously here on YouTube. And if you wanted to go check out my personal uh, TikTok page, American Highlander ninety five on TikTok, and also on Instagram, I do mainly workout stuff. Adam, don't you have sports cards? I do. That's so right. If any of you are into collecting cards? Uh, I do basketball, baseball, football. Uh, what about cricket? No, <laughs> no. Rugby. But you can find me at luge. AJ underscore sports cards. Uh, did you just say luge? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, luge. I don't think they make cards. Oh, they've the got Olympics to. Sports. Why wouldn't they make ones for luge? <laughs> Bobsled. But yeah, so you can check me out on Instagram. I have a Jamaican uh, I'm not team. not super... <laughs> a Jamaican team rookie card. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, you can check me out on Instagram. I do have a TikTok. I'm not very active on the TikTok. I kind of prefer more of the Instagram. Exactly. So if you're interested in that, go there. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. I have been Blake. I am always Adam. <laughs> I am always Adam. <laughs> you do the outro. And with that. Give me a beer. Okay. <laughs>